Well, you may have heard that this photo of Ellen DeGeneres with former President George W. Bush has gone viral. To some, it seems harmless, but critics pounced. And Ellen, she responded on her show today. But just because I don't agree with someone on everything doesn't mean that I'm not going to be friends with them. When I say be kind to one another, I don't mean only the people that think the same way that you do. I mean be kind to everyone. Controversy shining a light on friend shaming. And who says you can pick other people's friends just because you have a Twitter account? Paula Tutman has been diving into that question this afternoon. And there's a lot of heated feelings on this, Paula. Yeah, Karen, and think about this. Uh, an expert here at Oakland University, a professor who also adds uh, social media, pop culture, and LGBTQ, uh, LGBTQ issues to her expertise says, you know what, maybe this isn't a bad thing for all of us. You know, he owns this. As a celebrity, Ellen DeGeneres is certainly accustomed to being mobbed by fans, but perhaps not the angry Twitterverse mob outraged by this. This is, I took a video of who, who was next to me. Apparent friendship with former President George W. Bush that was outed at a football game over the weekend. Many people criticizing Ellen for what they call cozying up to the other side on so many levels. Cancel culture is that idea that uh, somebody like a celebrity says something controversial and the idea is it's always this idea like this Twitter mob comes at them um, and wants to cancel them. It was the very first thing that popped up in the Twitter feed of Oakland University communications professor Dr. Kathleen Battles. There's people who feel that he's a war criminal because of the Iraq war. There's people who disagree with the way that his administration and his party have been um, hindrances, if not outright, um, against gay and lesbian rights. We asked numerous students on campus their thoughts and couldn't find any of the angry tweeters. Now they're telling you who you can be friends with, huh? No, I think people can just be friends with who they want and just hang out and just be chill. I mean, it's our choice, but if I were her, I wouldn't be, so... But Dr. Battles says there is value in the very social nature of having social media as a tool to vent. Those kinds of things that we might say behind closed doors, we now say on social media. And I think once we say them on social media and we're held to account for them, I think it's fair to be held account for the things that you say. Yet that cancel culture is so severe, Ellen felt she had to justify her friendship. But just because I don't agree with someone on everything doesn't mean that I'm not going to be friends with them. When I say be kind to one another, I don't mean only the people that think the same way that you do. I mean be kind to everyone. Doesn't matter. But here's one tweet that I loved. This uh, person says, Ellen and George Bush together makes me have faith in America again. And, um... yeah, I think she's right that she should be friends with them. So Professor Battles says that public figures are fair game. And so Karen, I actually challenged her and I said, okay, while we the people have the right to say whatever we want, does that mean we should? And she believes that if it moves the public conversation in any direction, the fact that we are talking about this, then indeed it is fair game. Makes a Thought good candy. point. All right. Very interesting. Thank you, Paula.